today we talk about HSV's new 30 years range of cars and also HSV's new GTSR range of cars. As of the 1st of February 2017, HSV have released the details of their new 30 years range of cars and the new GTSR range of cars. But I'll start off first with the 30 years range of cars. All 30 years range of cars will have 30 years on the front fenders, floor mats, sill plates, except for Maloo, and the rear window, except for the Tour and a special build plate. All 30 years models also get newly designed front and rear bumpers, side skirts, bonnet fence and wheels. All cars also receiving newly revised suspension too. And minus the 430 kilowatt GTS, all models also get a boost of 10 kilowatt and 20 newton meters of torque, which will see them making 410 kilowatt and 691 newton meters of torque. And the bimodal exhaust has also been recalibrated to give your ears a bit more pleasure as well. And the next part I love, HSV have decided that all 30 years model cars now getting torque vectoring. So you can even get torque vectoring in your supercharged V8 Tourer. And all the 30 years range is currently underway and coming soon to a dealer near you. Now price range, a Malu R8 you can get from 79.990 plus on roads. The Club Sport R8 you can get from 82,990 plus on roads, and the Club Sport R8 Tour you can get from 88,990 plus on roads, which comes in an auto only. And the Senna's signature will come from 95,990 plus on roads, and the JTS from 98,990 plus on roads. When I was a kid, one of my dream cars was the original HSV VS GTSR, but unfortunately I never got that, at least so far anyway. But back then, HSV made just 75 of those original GTSRs, and I've been waiting for HSV to come back with another GTSR for years, as have most people. And now they have, and now you can even get a GTSR in a Malou. The new GTSR range comes with new front bumper and splitter, wider than the standard HSVs, because HSV have also decided to pump out the front fenders. To now make the front wider, the GTSRs also have newly redesigned fender vents, and at the back, the GTSRs also get a new rear bumper and diffuser, and HSV's new Aeroflow spoiler. Both the Malou and Sedan GTSRs get GTSR embossed in their SV Panorama forged alloy wheels that are 20 by 9 at the front and 20 by 10 at the rear. And they enclose a six piston monoblock caliper from AP Racing and they clamp onto 410mm cross drilled two piece floating rotors up front and 372mm in the back. The JTSR sedans come with the semi active magnetic ride control and the Malou gets HSV's performance suspension. The interior also hasn't missed treatment. HSV have newly redesigned and reupholstered the seats in diamond stitched Alcantara and leather 
with red stitching and JTSR in the headdress. The seats are also heated and 8-way power adjustable. All JTSR models will receive JTSR branding on the passenger side airbag cover, floor mats, seal plates, minus the Malou, ID plates and on the EDI screen upon startup. The GTSR Malou does receive HSV's hard tunnel cover and performance sailplane. They are making around 670 GTSR Malus and 1300 sedans. The GTSR Malou starts at 96,990 plus on roads and the JTSR sedan starts at 109,490 plus on roads. HSV is also making an exclusive limited edition JTSR called the W1. HSV are making just 300 of these puppies at the price tag of 169,990 plus on roads and comes in a manual only. But don't go racing to your nearest HSV dealer to put your order down because they've already sold out. HSV sold out at the mere rumours, let alone the confirmation that this car was coming out. The GTSR W1 comes with a supercharged 6.2 litre LS9 V8 putting out 474 kilowatt and 815 newton meters of torque and that is coupled to a twin plate clutch solid flywheel and a close ratio gearbox hsv have decided this car is highly track focused and have decided to exchange the magnetic wire control suspension in the other hsvs out with a fixed rate suspension package from supershock which is race inspired, lower and stiffer. The JTSR W1 also has the same wheels as the rest of the JTR range but in matte black and embossed with W1. However, the W1 comes with wider, stickier Pirelli tyres. 265 in the front and 295 in the rear. This car should do a quarter mile in about 12.1 seconds, according to HSV's tests at the moment. The GTSR also comes with a few more carbon fibre bits over the car and W1 in the headdress, seal plates, ID plate, and EDI startup screen, and the key fob. And, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe, like the video if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.